Hey, this is Chris Menard. Happy Friday. Let me show you something really cool in Microsoft Excel today using pivot tables. And just to show you this data, I've got a list of automobile dealerships. They're the car manufacturers. There's the rep, invoice dates that I made up, and invoice amounts. If I go control down arrow, I have 577 records. So let's make a pivot table. And before I make a pivot table, you know I like to make a table. So control T, hit OK, and my data range is now a table. And then let's go to insert tab, pivot table, and it's going to put it on a new worksheet, hit OK. So here's what I want to figure out. I'm going to figure out for the year 2017 how much we made every month and then what was the difference between one month and the next. So I'm going to pull invoice date down into the rows and invoice amount to the values. Now, just so you know this, in Excel 2016, it immediately grouped by year. So if you click on invoice amount in column B, group selection is unavailable. So click on one of these years and I'm going to ungroup. So this looks the same as if you were in Excel 2007 and up. So I'm just kind of showing it for everybody. So this will work on any version of Excel. So here you go. Once again, if you click over here, it disappears. Click on a date, group selection. I want to group it by year. So now I've got it by year. Group selection again. Let's add month. I could have done this at the same time. I only want to see the year 2017. I know you can't see it over here, but I'm going to let me cancel. When I hit the drop down here, I just want to see 2017. I know that's off my screen, but there's 2017 only. And I don't care about seeing that total right there. So that's pivot table tools design subtotals do not show. But here's the cool trick. So watch this. What I do not want you to ever do is copy this, paste the values, and then go, I'm going to take that month and subtract that month, and then autofill down. You'll get the correct answers. That's not an issue. Here's the right way to do it. Click inside your pivot table, pull invoice amount down here again into the values. So I've got the exact same numbers twice. Click over here to the right. Give me a right click. Show values as. I'm going to select difference from. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to go the long way. Right click. Show values as. And if I go down to more options, this is sometimes easier just for teaching purposes. I'm going to select difference from make sure it says invoice date but you want to do it the difference from the previous month so make sure you select previous and hit OK there I go now if you're saying you got the exact same answers Chris what's wrong with column E and column F well if I change my data back on my data worksheet and I refresh my pivot table these numbers are still correct. These numbers are no longer correct. Or these numbers. So don't do what I did in column E and F. Here's how you take care of it over here. I appreciate your time. Have a good weekend. And oh, great news. My web camera is not working today, so you don't have to see me. But Gracie the Beagle says hello.